Good day, everyone. It is currently 12.28 p.m. And, um, uh, I'm going to take a look at the earthquake map. Um, recently, I know, haven't been that active. Sorry about that. Um, a lot of things, I've been pretty busy. Um, I, right off the bat, I noticed we have a ice quake up here. Ah, okay. Ice quake at 2.5. Um, 32 kilometers west-southwest of Mosquito Lake, Alaska. Okay, I know in Alaska we have, um, a 2.5. Um, Alaska's not that active right now. Let's see, wait. How deep? And not too deep. Um, over here we have... Al Atlasova. Russia, um, 65 kilometers. That's pretty deep, but I'm not too worried about that area. What I am worried about right now is this area, but not so much to the east of that area because we just had a really, um, today we just had a really big, uh, earthquake in India, um, it was a 6.0, nine kilometers north northwest of Dekia Juli, India, and um, it it looks like it's happening. It happened on the on the um, Bhutan, India, like border area, on this fault. The same Nepal. Um, fault that created that huge eight point um eight eight point three earthquake in 2015. Um, over here, this is something that I am really looking at. We have one to Taiwan. Okay, that's not too much pressure. I'm still kind of this area is still kind of spooky. But it's not that active, but it's fine. 4.7, um, that's pretty deep quake. I guess that area could definitely create a huge quake within the next, uh, few weeks, months area. This entire area in general could create one or maybe possibly more quakes within the next, um, within the next, uh, probably, like, two months, uh, but probably one month, uh, over here on the Nepal Fault, man, that was a pretty big quake, um, and then over here, that east area, yeah, I'm not too concerned about the, the earthquakes that are on this side, Although, there could be a really big earthquake to strike, to strike Nepal area really soon. So, I'm watching out for that area. Um, over down in, uh, right here. Yeah, not that much. Uh, here. Okay. Ten kilometers. Okay. Nothing, I mainly, it's this area that I'm really concerned about. Like, this Japan. And parts of the Philippine, uh, the Philippines area. That's mainly what I'm concerned about. Because the earthquake activity there, pretty deep. Um, yeah. So, I wouldn't be surprised if it unleashes a 8.0 or greater quake. Um, probably 7.0. Um, maybe 6. But, um, moving on to the U.S. The U.S. is really starting to warm up, uh, with all of its quakes. Right off the bat, this morning when I checked USGS, the Texas area, that really got, it really took, like, a big change in my mind. Let's look. These, these quakes have been continuing over the past um, weeks, 
and to this area, it is a very strong. Today, we had a 4.0, 56 kilometers south, um, south of White City, New Mexico, and it was 7.4 kilometers beneath the surface. That is a very, very, very close to the surface. So, that is kind of pretty, pretty kind of scary to think about because that's really close to the surface. All these quakes are close to the surface in Texas. These, oh, geez, today these allergies are bad. Okay. Right here we have, oh, right here. I also knew that last night there was um, some thunderstorms in Texas. Yeah. So that's just kind of interesting. I'm I'm gonna have to keep an eye on that area. Um yeah. Down here in uh near the Guatemala, Honduras and El Salvador in this area, um four point oh that's regular activity. Um fifty three kilometers. There might be something in, like, a year that strikes this area that might be a little big, but, you know, you never really know. Um, right here we have, um, 11 kilometers. Okay, yeah, I'm pretty sure there's not that much activity that will occur there. Um, Brazil, um... 4.7, 10 kilometers, okay. Ah, uh, right here. Okay, that's 100. Yeah, what I thought. There would... There's always these deep earthquakes occurring in Chile. Um, in the Japan region. Uh, and right now... Uh, obviously, up in the Cascadia subduction zone, I'll talk about that a little later. Um, we're having major, major, um, activity acting around this area. Um, California. There were some people who thought that these, um, faults were connected, and if the big one strikes, it will go down to California. But the thing is, is that won't work because they're two totally different types of um, faults. So it just doesn't work. Like, I'm pretty sure I talked about this in my last video. But there is a lot of activity in California. It could produce a 6.0 or greater. Um, probably around a 6.0, 5.0, 6.0. Um, this area in Southern California, let's see, where's this? 7.3 kilometers. Okay, yeah, so, I mean, it, this whole U.S. area, something we really have to look out for, the activity is completely changing. Uh, it's a very, very... Um, we have to look out for this area. Then, down here in Hawaii, we have one, I think it's like, yeah, I, this is not the most recent one. Yeah. It was a 2.8, 7 kilometers south of Hanoa Na Napupu, Hawaii. And, yeah. Um, that was, I think that's the newest one. Well, uh, down here, whew, down here we have, um, or why am I saying down here? Uh, up here, we have a couple of quakes that I need to talk about. So, there's this Washington quake. Let's see. I want to see the depths to see if it's caused. Eh, 22. That was probably caused by one of the Washington faults, not the Cascadia. Um, but right here, we have a couple of things to talk about. Right here, 
seven kilometers. They're starting. We're starting to see lots and lots and lots of um surface surface activity um along the Cascadia Fault. It is tremendous um surface activity. The other day we saw a two point oh. We now we're seeing a two point nine. They're just slowly creeping up. And the other day, we also saw 4.1 out here. Um, we really have to look at the chariot and keep an eye on it. At this point, I'm fairly certain that it's going to be the big one. So, not much to add on. Over, We're going to take a look at the tremor map. We're seeing these um, tremors are creeping up north. Um, heading more up into the, uh, into the, um, how do I say this? Oh, yeah, it's heading up into the, uh, like, Columbia River area, um, when usually it was down here. Uh, so, that's interesting. We gotta keep an eye on that, and again, as I said in my past videos, Right here, you need to stay prepared, um, because it's going to be a big one when it strikes. Um, hold on. It takes a lot for it to load because we have so many earthquakes. Oh, yeah. Um, so, that is just this month. We have 10,651 epicenters. Compared to last month, which had 4,000 epicenters. And then the month before it, I believe, was like 3,000. So, <laughs> we really have to keep an eye on this area. Um, It's very, you can see literally the outline of the Cascadia subduction zone just on Oregon. It's, it's a lot. Uh, like... Oh, jeez. Yeah. So, we better keep an eye on this area. It's probably going to strike within the next... Within weeks now. Um, no longer months, weeks. It is too much for nothing to happen. So, that's that. Um, I think... Let's look. Yeah. Well, there wasn't that much to talk about other than this no there's a new uh for me there's this new we better keep a look on this Nepal Nepali fault that runs from India, the same fault that created the um Mount Everest. You really have to keep an eye on that because it um it's creating lots of activity. So, yeah. Um, and obviously that's caused, instead of sub one plate subducting under the other, they crash together, creating the mountain range, which is Mount Everest. And when during the crashing, they created so many earthquakes, and that's what these earthquakes are. So... Basically, to put it, like, Mount Everest is just growing and growing constantly because it's caused by these plates clash together. Yeah. Um, and so, better keep an eye on that area. Um, Texas area, I definitely want to keep on an eye on that area. I wonder, I, uh, that's a lot the, yeah, that has to be a fault, um, a fault caused quake. This is a 4.0. Usually the, like, the oil, um, earthquakes that we see in Oklahoma area, they're usually, like, 2.0, but this one is a really, really big, um, and we have to keep an eye on it. But, yeah, that's that. Um, that's the, you know, entire 
earthquake stuff. Um, we have to keep an eye on multiple spots. And yeah, it's just it's just time right now. Just like weeks before the big one strikes this area, and probably months be between the um a big quake hitting this area. So, oh, and obviously I want to look out um for southern uh nor uh northern to central Chile and uh this india area to recap but um yeah the alaska alaska already had a pretty big quake in the past i think month it's been a month um since it's one of its big quakes um so the alaska area I don't have to worry about and you can see there's surfing first Ugh. there are um like on the fault they're mainly surface quakes so, yeah, um, that's that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and, um, I'm gonna sign off.